Hi guys, welcome to my channel Redefine Lifestyle. This is Tanushri. The topic we are going to talk about is delayed speech. Uh, why am I talking about delayed speech? Yes, I have a kid who is now seven years old and uh, he has been, um, sorry for the background noise. Uh, so uh, what I was going to say, yes, so he has been gone through this delayed speech journey and uh, being a mother i have seen a lot of uh, women and mothers have concern on social media saying oh my son is like almost two years and not talking he's three years and not talking and they're very worried and don't know what to do so uh, my video is to you know help some mothers who can see me understand my experience and can uh, help them to worry less or uh, you know take some kind of you know uh, uh, way to find the solution for this so what I did is I'm going to tell you uh, my son he hasn't spoken a word between 18 months to two years not in a single word and that made me very worried so you know uh, usually kids who have delayed speech they they make a connection between uh, autism and adhd which adhd is attention deficient so uh, i read a lot of places about this and i got very worried because you know in internet there are lots of information loads of uh, uh, queries and uh, loads of answers about these kind of questions and that if you read more it makes you more worry so my first step what I did is I went and met a pediatrician first so first thing you should go to a pediatrician when your son or daughter whoever your kid has been in a in a in a phase of 18 months to 24 months uh, so if he's, he or she is not talking at all, I think you should go and take a doctor opinion. So my first thing is when I went to the doctor, he uh, set a parameter uh, to analyze my son. And based on parameters, he have asked me a few questions which uh, maybe helped him to uh, find out uh, what could be the problem. So the first parameter what he asked me is uh, I have some points in my hand so I can look down sometimes so don't get so first uh, important words he asked me does your kid observe and look for pointing I'll tell you in Hindi also doctor ne pehla cheez jo poocha was aapka beta cheezon ko observe karta hai and he look for pointing means he wo उस चीजों को देखकर पॉइंट करके उसके बारे में दिखाने की कोशिश करता है। वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट है ये सबसे पहला और बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट है। The second is you know point number one का ही सब सेकेंड पॉइंट is you know it's not necessary the kid has to be pointing all the time he could do a decent amount of pointing and maybe something interest him excite him he will try to grab the attention so this was the first first criteria uh, the doctor had asked me and uh, believe me my son he used to never do pointing never ever do pointing even if he wants anything he's ah uh, ah uh, and but he will never point so i said no it's not point so uh, he was not pointing but yes if something excites him so he will like pull me or ask me to see the things but pointing he was not doing it that's what I told the doctor the second thing understand some kind of language okay the language doesn't mean that you speak Hindi you should speak Hindi or you should speak English you should speak English or you should speak whatever regional languages you should understand the child it's not necessary language could be sign language and expressive language what two languages sign language and expressive language sign language obviously you know that the child wants to show something to show something to show something to show something so he will show with the sign language that I want that मुझे वो चाहिए वो मुझे नीचे दे दो 
और यू नो वो देखो समथिंग इज एक्साइटिंग सो समथिंग लाइक दैट दे विल डू और दे विल एक्सप्रेस इफ दे हैज सीन अ न्यू थिंग दे विल एक्सप्रेस विथ योर हैप्पीनेस ओ समथिंग न्यू इज देयर और एक्सप्रेसिव भी ये भी आता है कि वो खुशी खुश है तो खुश खुश होना दिखाएगा अगर वो नाराज है एंड इफ इज एंग्री ही विल शो हिज एंगर सो दिस इज द टू काइंड ऑफ लैंग्वेज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट थर्ड ऑलवेज द डॉक्टर आज मी डू योर केयर समटाइम्स आई मीन हाउ डज ही प्ले विद टॉयज सो आई सेट ही प्लेज नॉर्मली सो एक्चुअली द डॉक्टर wants to know that uh, my kid he plays like putting some toys one after one and make a queue or something or uh, a queue but like stack karke he's doing something so i said no he plays normal with other toys like with a gun he will place at me and he'll say he'll shoot and all i say okay fine this is okay then the fourth and most important was look for इमिटेशन प्लेइंग इमिटेशन प्लेइंग मतलब जैसे बच्चे नाटक करके खेलते हैं घर घर खेलते हैं नाटक करके खेलते हैं तो बच्चा अगर खेल रहा है और अगर उसने ट्रेन के साथ खेलना है इफ़ इज़ प्लेइंग विद अ ट्रेन तो वो कैसे खेलेगा ही विल बी प्लेइंग लाइक चुचू इफ द एरोप्लेन इज फ्लाइंग सो ही इज़ फ्लाइंग यू नो और यू नो उसको स्विमिंग पूल में जाना है एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू आई वॉन्ट टू स्विम सो समथिंग लाइक दैट इमिटेशन मतलब वो खेल भी रहा है तो उसको इमिटेट करके खेल रहा है कि वो स्विम कर रहा है खाना बना रहा है तो खाना बना रहा है समथिंग सम काइंड ऑफ इमिटेशन वो बच्चे को करना बहुत ज़रूरी है अगर ही फिज डूइंग इट ही इज़ ऑल्सो फाइन सो इन ऑल दिस फोर कैटेरिया माई सन वॉज डूइंग वेरी फ्यू पॉइंटिंग लाइक None. His pointing was nothing, but uh, he was meeting these criteria a bit. Also, um, uh, my doctor he asked me, uh, what, how was my son's milestone? So my son's milestone was a bit late. A uh, lot of kids, बच्चे usually their neck becomes you know stiff after three to four months. My son he did like five months. Um, kids in 5 to 6 months they you know turn so my son he started turning at 7 then by 9 months he he could not he did not sit till 9 months he couldn't able to sit on his own till 9 months fir wo dheere dheere pakad kar khada hona sikha aur pakad kar chalna sikha and then after 11 or 12 months he sat he crawl so usne bilkul opposite kiya so डॉक्टर ने देखा कि ही हैज़ डन ऑल हिज माइंड टू द बेट लेट लाइक उसने चलना भी प्रॉपरली विदाउट एनी हेल्प वॉज लाइक फोर्टीन मंथ्स सो ही सर हिज माइंड स्टोन आर बेट लेट सो मे बी ही इज लेजी टू डू दिस ऑल्सो मे बी ही विल डू इट सो ऑल दिस क्राइटेरिया विन दिस सॉ एंड दे इवन द डॉक्टर ऑब्जर्व योर चाइल्ड वाई आस्किंग ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक सॉरी आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन दे अब्जर्व द किड हाउ ही इज और शी इज रिएक्टिंग टू द सिचुएशन सो द डॉक्टर ही वॉज अब्जर्विंग माई सन एंड देन ही सर ही लुक्स फाइन एंड यू नो आई थिंक ही विल टॉक वन सी गोज टू सम प्ले हाउस और सम प्री स्कूल ही विल लर्न सो दैट इज वॉट माई सजेशन वॉज द डॉक्टर सेट एंड ही सजेस्टेड मी फॉर अ स्पीच थेरेपी I went for a speech therapy, but I felt uh, speech therapy was not worth because I went for two sessions, and the thing what they were doing was I used to do at home, which is usually we start with you know with actions we use one word. So अगर हमें ball kick करनी है तो I kick the ball and I say kick the ball, kick kick and I kick it. Then I ask the the kid to kick the ball and say kick kick. So you know throw or give or de do uh, don't give so all these words single single words and also imitations of sounds of different different things train uh, uh, you know aeroplane toys cars trucks anything fire engine hospital uh, you know the ambulance ye sab ka sounds nikalna so that but kid can you know relate wo relate kar sakta hai sound with these things which i was doing yes i was not doing that frequent of amount but i was doing it. so i stopped after two sessions and i have give i have given a try to you know let me try myself 
and uh, if the doctor said he will talk i am sure he will he will talk so i i have gone to another doctor who was a regular pediatrician for my son who uh, uh, who she is uh, like uh, taking care of my son since his born um, i went to her and she was very confident that he he will talk so just wait for him to talk so yes uh, in 20 to 23rd month i uh, have uh, you know uh, send my i started sending my son to preschools not preschools playhouse and uh, you know uh, uh, this after doctor the second most important opinion is the teachers or the teachers or the you know the consultants who are working in the uh, playhouse or the preschools so always keep talking to your uh, playhouse teachers and preschools because they absorb very closely to your son or a daughter who is inside that playhouse for about three to four hours and um, they give a very relevant feedback so I put him in a playhouse and uh, I've always got a very good feedback about him that he is intelligent, he does not speak but he replies things according to what he understands and he, he does it smartly. So uh, I, I have, I started um, for two, after two years I like very worried, very worried that and I was really worried, I was really worried but then I thought if I worry, if the doctor is saying he's fine, if I worry, I think I will push him to talk more. So I stopped worrying and I let him be in his own space and whenever he wants to talk, he will talk. So yeah, so uh, my son, he started picking up words like uh, when he's become two and a half and three. and. Um, वो भी ज़्यादा नहीं, just four to five words वो बोलता था, शायद मामा, TV and he was playing with a gun, so he used to make the sound of that gun and one two more words and believe me in in Singapore, because I stay in Singapore, the kids started they start going to school by three preschools usually by three years and their nursery starts from three three years old. So uh, as soon as he joined nursery, I started seeing him a lot of progression on on his speech. He right from the words, he started talking uh, into sentences without any grammatical mistakes. Though he picked up, we me, I tried because I am Bengali. My son, uh, my husband is a Hindi speaking. Uh, uh, I tried, uh, you know make him understand my language but then he picked English because I think he found it more comfortable and easy to pick up so uh, we thought okay if he is fine with one language I I thought is he is already delayed in his speech we all started talking to him in English so that he can have a focus path of one language and later on we will take him to other language step by step so after three uh, three months, uh, three years, three months ke baad, he started fluently uh, in English and with no grammatical mistakes and uh, now there is a situation that I had to say my son to keep quiet for even two minutes because he is non-stop till he sleeps. So um, what I would suggest the mothers who are there uh, on on social medias and getting worried about your uh, son or daughter not talking after they have completed their two years first thing please go to the doctor don't listen to anybody your neighbors your uh, relatives and all they will give you lots of suggestions tongue ke niche honey lagana thursday ko ye karna wo karna which i did and believe me my son only spoke when he wanted to so uh, first most important thing is go to the doctors take the suggestions if the doctor says he is fine just leave to the kid to talk and also um, yes we stay we are all in a very uh, we nowadays stay in a nuclear family we do we have a lot of work and we don't spend much time talking to them so try to have a bit effort on you know at least for one or two hours throughout the day at least one hour now one hour in the evening to talk to the kid 
uh, small small words or some actions and words to understand very important also uh, yeah, you are the very important uh, message from me is uh, I am a mother like you are a mother of your own kid you are the best judge of your own kid no one can say how your kid behaves or uh, you know whatever kind of behavior it is you can you will be able to know that he is smart or not so uh, i was really sure that my son apart from not talking he is able to understand express and tell whatever he wants and he does not want he i know he will talk and he is his obviously when they are very small they nowadays even in month uh, two months they check their ears that their their ears are fine or not if you want to go for a ear check up one more time no never mind you should go it's okay just for your satisfaction you should go ahead and do it but if the doctor says everything is fine just don't panic don't listen to your relatives lot of ideas and all believe on your kid he will talk he or she will talk usually this late talking happens to the boys and i have clearly uh, uh, remembered that my son in the play school where he was studying there were four more kids who were uh, who also spoke after three and i know them i till uh, till now i know them their mothers and there were two girls also who were like late speech like they have not spoken till their age of three so uh, 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 I know you know uh, it is it is I think because of we are not uh, in all metro cities or any big cities we are so alone and we have like you know kids never goes to playground and not social so much with kids they they usually takes time to talk so best is when your kid becomes like 22 to 23 months please put him in play school and um, this may help him to him or her to interact with the kids and slowly i i am sure they will talk so uh, uh, if mothers are listening to me uh, this is my experience and uh, from my experience i can only say that uh, believe in your child and uh, always very important meet the doctor if he says fine and you know your you know your kid is fine he or she will talk and sometimes these kids are lazy to talk so they will talk and once they will talk believe me i am in that situation right now my son till he sleeps he talks non-stop i you know sometimes we get like oh my god how much you speak so this is what i wanted to tell this through this video so uh, I will finish my uh, topic here and uh, if you have any queries you can always ask me maybe through my experiences I can give you or share you some uh, uh, tips on that and uh, if you like my video please like comment and share and till then bye bye